Hi guys, I'm Sarah, the real simple mama. That is a chicken butt. And we have kids out playing in the pool. It's getting warmer. And I wanted to show you guys something that we are working on that we are really excited about. This is going to be a build video for a chicken coop automatic door. And before I get into the what it is and why and all that stuff, I will just say my usual disclaimer that we were not given any of these products for free. So we picked the product that we felt was in our price point that was gonna work best for our little flock. And the other disclaimer that I'll say is that putting an automatic coop door is not an excuse for you to be negligent and not an excuse for you to never get out and be with your chickens and sit and watch your chickens and spoil your chickens and just be attentive, okay? So we have this chicken coop, which was also not given to us for free. This is the Omaha model by Rugged Ranch. And we got this coop in our new run, in our new home. And we wanted to have an automatic coop door because just with having dogs and two young kids and everything else that's going on, we sometimes don't let the chickens out as early as they want to be let out. And we thought that having an automatic door on the flip side also, if we go out somewhere at night or whatever the case may be, even you know you being out of town, we wanted to just have something that would kind of help the human error or some of the other variables in our life. Now again, you know, if we go out of town, we're gonna have somebody still watching our chickens, but then we have a door that's gonna lock it up. So the door that we ended up buying, of course, is a name that I can't pronounce. It is Rural 365, and I cannot say that word to save my life. But we got a chicken coop door after researching and reading and getting y'all's recommendations and everything else. There are a whole bunch of options with the coop doors and we've got our frame built here of where we're going to be cutting the door. But this is what the setup's gonna look like. And one thing I like about this chicken coop, and you can see my review videos, there's their dirty mirror. Um, one thing that I like about this coop is that it gives you a whole storage unit. And I know that's a disaster right now, so don't judge the mess. But we are doing two different projects right now in regards to this stuff. We're doing the solar fan which i'll be continuing that video and showing you that that build video and then this box right here is the motor for that which is the coop door so the way this coop door is going to work and there's, di there's different choices there are some that that hook up to a solar fan and other things but the rural 365 the automatic door is going to hook up to that motor that you see which uses four AA batteries and then it has a light sensor on it and a timer, but that helps it determine when you want me to close and when you want me to open. It is a slower moving door. And then of course, we're going to cut the hardware cloth right there. And then once this is all set up, I'm not gonna have to manually come out and open this long door and prop it open with a bungee cord anymore. It will open and close right there at the bottom of their ramp. So the way this door is going to work is like I said, it does have a light sensor and then it does have a timer on it. And what we're going to do is we don't want it to really be affected by the light sensor because if you've got a day that's really cloudy, for example, that may mean that it's not gonna open at all. Well, of course, I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna be watching and babysitting this thing. It's just for an added convenience factor, right? So what we did is we, we ordered our coupe door and at least with this coupe door you don't have to buy anything else separate everything that you need is included and then we are just building a little extra frame because of course the shape and the size of the coupe door which is going to slide straight up and down looks like a guillotine we don't tell the chickens i said that <clears throat> so then what's going to happen is we are fitting this frame to fit in that little spot and then as we get done with it and we test it and we have it running then we're going to do some predator proof checks to make sure that it is still locked up and tight and we don't have any problems with there being a gap there or anything like that. So this build video is going to be about us using a, an automatic chicken coop door and what we think about the Rural 365. The dark wood pieces was just scrap wood because this coop, the Omaha Coop by Rugged Ranch, you know, was not custom made with this door kit does that make sense they were two different companies and so the measurements didn't align and so what my husband did is the dark wood that you see there he basically just cut a frame that would help support the little metal sliders that are on either side of the coop door itself and then the coop door runs like i said on batteries 
and then look at how fancy it is in here it's like need for speed um so this box is the motor and you can set it um and i wanted to clarify that this is the rural 360 and i know i can't say that word but it does have a timer and a light sensor on it but basically what you can do is you can use just one or the other which you know we didn't really want to use the light sensor because what if it's just a dark cloudy day that means my chickens aren't going to get light out that's kind of silly so what we've done is we've set the time and it's super easy you just go in there and you tweak the time like we just tweaked it and it took like you know 30 seconds so it will be very easily customizable and you need to remember through different seasons of the year depending on you know when it's light or dark outside or what's going on in your life you may want to come out and change the time for example our days are getting longer right now as we're getting into summer so you know my girls are not going up to bed until eight o'clock so what we're going to do is watch this in action here in just a couple of seconds but right now what we've got it set to is you know it's going to open at 7 15 in the morning and then it's going to close at 8 15 at night and we left the big door open all afternoon today because you know the girls they're not going to figure that out like in the heat of the afternoon where they need to come in and get water and all of that stuff and then in the summer this is going to be kind of redundant because we have those doors open as well on the second level. So there's multiple ways for the girls to get in there, if that makes sense. But then as it gets to, you know, the days being shorter or again, you know, if there's a night where we go out to a restaurant and we're not back until after dark or things like that. And remember, this is not an excuse for you to be negligent and for you to never be out with your chickens. But it is just like a nice little like, oh, OK, well, now if I'm out until nine or ten o'clock, it's okay because this is taking care of it for me and then I'm just gonna come and check. You could of course also get you know a game camera or a baby monitor or other things that either you could put in with the coop that's just audio or audio and video and that's another way for you to check when you're not at home. But I like that you know with the the craziness of having two young children and you know the chores and everybody wakes up in the morning early of course and they, and everyone is starving and there's laundry to get started and everything else going on that my girls won't have to wait on me and the other thing i will say is for this coop or any other coop kit or you know most coops that you've got there's not a whole ton of room for them to just like hang out inside and with all of that stuff in there i have the um Usually that trash can is actually inside as well, so it doesn't get rained on. And then their food and their water and the ramp. There's not a ton of standing room in there for five chickens. And then if I'm going to be getting three more to fill out my flock, you know, that's really not a lot of space. So I don't want them having to hang out here until 830 in the morning tripping over each other. So we are very, very excited. I felt bad that my husband had to get in there. The hardest part for him was just cutting the hardware cloth there, cutting that hole there in the coop itself and then getting in there and building the frame. You can see he also, because he's amazing and very thorough, he also put a, a panel to help hold this when it goes up. So he put a, a guard up here for when it's in the open position, and then this is the frame that will hold it. So essentially, you know, you can see that silver vertical piece is the actual, um, like the little lane or the guide that that sits in so the the metal door slides you know obviously in between that and then the wood frame that he built on three sides here is holding that frame so now what we're going to do in the morning is i won't have to open these big doors on the bottom unless i am checking food and water but no more like bungeeing open the door and then on hot days or days when we just want to air out the coop remember it does have these two small windows it will be interesting tomorrow morning <laughs> because it is off to the side and it is smaller. I wonder if my girls are going to notice that that's open in the morning or how long, you know, basically they're all going to stand in there before they're kind of like, hey, wait a minute. Hey, this is open. What? Or maybe they'll already be down and they'll see it open. I mean, who knows? It could go, you know, one of a hundred ways. But it's going to be funny the next few days as they get used to that. We did time our girls at what time they actually went up tonight. And then we set this thing to close about 10 or 15 minutes later. Um, you know, because you don't want this to be, again, just, just a convenience thing. I do need to come out and, you know, take attendance every night if I can. But you don't want it to be, um, you know, closing like right when you think your chickens are going to bed. And then somebody gets stuck outside. 
that's not helping anything. So we'd rather time it a little bit late. And of course, right now, I know to you it still looks fairly light, but it's getting, it's getting pretty dark out here. Oh, look. Dun, dun, dun. And that is that. Good morning. Look who figured out how to get outside. Girls! Oh no, almost everybody figured it out. Come on, Lace! So I've got, oh, two have figured out. Gracie and Flopsy are out. Oh, there's Calypso. <laughs> Look, and now Lacey's like, wait a minute, how did she do that? Let's have voodoo magic. So this is the first morning that the girls have not had that door open. But then my, um, I'm not going to say intelligent. That's too strong of a word. But a couple of my girls have figured out. Come on, Lace. Chick, 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 chick. Hooray! Chick, 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 chick. Poor bluebird. <laughs> Was that crazy? Lacey, you should be so proud of yourself. Poor blue is still stuck in there, so let's go in there and help her. Come on. Chick, 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 chick. You guys help her. Come on. Come on, blue. Chick, 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 chick. Yay, blue. Hooray. <laughs> you know, the hardware cloth is very fine you know it's not very thick lines or anything so for us you know we can see a difference between there's hardware cloth here but there's not there and i wonder for the chickens if that's really easy for them to see if that makes sense the difference between there's something here but there's not over there hey blue so what i'm probably going to do is i'm going to throw um i'm almost out of mealworms but i'm going to throw sunflower seeds like right in the door like right there and just on the ramp to try to start training them like you need to go in here right because I'm gonna keep the store closed and I'm fine with them figuring it out on their own you know they'll, they'll eventually get it okay and here at the end I wanted to show you all the technical information you can go to happy-henhouse.com if you wanted to read more about it but this is what the motor box looks like now I'll say real quick that the motor box this piece here is designed to go outside your coop, but for aesthetics and also because we weren't going to use the light option to open and close the coop door, we were going to use a timer anyway. We didn't need it outside. Plus with this coop, you guys know we have like these double set of doors that you can open and we can't open them if this big motor box is in the way. So we put it in here. Now I'll say if you have soldering skills and you want to put it inside and I know my hand is going to be kind of blurry, so I apologize. That is the light sensor there. And I'm going to give you a breakdown of all of this and show you the instructions on how to set it so you can see. That's the light sensor right there. If you've got soldering skills, you could pop this board off and basically desolder that light sensor. And in other words, have your motor box inside, but then use a wire, solder a wire there and then re-solder it and put that light sensor outside your coop if you wanted to. Does that make sense? And that way the motor box thinks it's outside and it's using that light sensor. So what you're looking at, the big silver cylind uh, cylinder up at the top, that's the pulley in the motor itself. Then underneath it, like I said, you've got the light sensor. This little horizontal slider basically lets the motor know if the coop door is open or closed. And then you've got your set of buttons there. And then that's a little screen that's off right now, of course. Okay, and then there's your four batteries. And then I wanted to pull this out and show it to you really quick. Um, also, because I haven't found any good review videos online. So here you go. So you're gonna be cycling through with that simple screen, looking at all of these instructions. So basically, you need to figure out before you um, do all of this, you need to know, okay, I either wanna do it by light or I wanna do it by time or I wanna do a combination of both. So I'm gonna do this out of order to explain it. So here are the options. There are four different ways that it can open and close for you. And basically like, I need to know how you want me to know when to open and close. If you wanna do time to open and then time to close. In other words, I just need to know what time it is. I just need to know what time it is. And that's the mode that we do. Then you're gonna use basically mode zero is what it calls it if you want tell me what time to open but then have me use the light sensor to close then here are the four different combinations if you've got more questions or clarifications on this you can go to happy-henhouse.com or you can email me and i'll explain it but for us we didn't want to worry about the light sensor at all um, maybe that's better for people who don't want to come out and change the clock for, you know, daylight savings time or different times of year or whatever. But for us, you know, we do want to have that control irregardless of if it's really bright outside or if it's, you know, a really cloudy day or whatever. So when you start, it's going to tell you this is what time I think it is right now. 
okay? And then you press the button on the right for five to eight seconds to start it, okay? Then it's gonna say, all right, we're gonna talk about when you want me to open it, okay? And then it, you set open time out of a 24 hour clock. You set open time. And then you're also gonna set open lumen, which is like what light level you want it to open at. In other words, when it gets bright enough to this level and it's saying 15 or 16 is a good level to start with, then it will open. Okay, then we're gonna keep going through the cycle with the buttons and we're going to go to set the time of close. So 1900 hours and then the next, when you hit it again, it's gonna say when it gets to, you know, level when the close lumen gets to level 15 i'm going to close and then control here is where you set the mode so to go back and explain this it's kind of weird for open you have to set the time and the light level for close you have to set the time and the light level but then once you get to step eight you're going to tell it this is the information i want you to actually access this is the information i want you to actually look at and use does that make sense so we had to cycle through the open lumen and the closed lumen even though we're telling it you're not going to use that anyway you're just using the time okay then current lumen that'll be useful also so you may want to cycle through this a couple times because then it'll tell you okay according to my calculations this is the level of light i think you have right now and that way you can kind of get some perspective time is if you want to change what time it thought it was at the beginning then you can set that and then you're going to hit the left button and then it's just going to keep saying done keep saying done keep saying done and then when it shuts off that it's good what i suggest you do like my brilliant husband did is keep this without messing up the fold good job sarah you're going to keep this in a ziploc and then put it you know inside your chicken coop you can just staple it to the wall right inside or you could um you know put it in your chicken storage bin but have it somewhere nearby so that when you need to cycle through and be like oh yeah you know daylight savings time or the days are getting longer or shorter or we're going to use a different mode and try it or whatever you've got that nearby so i'm going to close this up now but that is our full review of the Rural 365 Automatic Chicken Coop Door. I am going to do an article on realsimplemama.com where you can see more photos and everything and have all of this content written out. But we've got some happy birds. I'm happy and we are good to go.